I hold it in my hands guys I promise you on the last camping trip that that old table I've been using was a goner and here's its replacement come back I'll show you what I got This is Patrick Mitchell Outdoors. Before we get into this video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button. There's still a bunch of you that watch the channel that are not subscribed, and we'd sure like to hit that 2,000 mark this year. So come on, hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you'll know when Mitchell Outdoors posts another video. Let's get into it. What's going on, everybody? How is my outdoor crew doing? I hope this video is finding you well. <clears throat> so I was looking for a different table altogether, and uh, I'm gonna try to set this up on the workbench so we don't have to make too many maneuvers. And you know, it's winter time, so it gets uh, nighttime by three o'clock, four o'clock around here. But um, I'm gonna show you what I got, and I said I wanted it to be a small package to go in the back of the truck, and that's what I got. It's um. I'll put all the dimensions down on the screen as I fold this thing out. I'll probably make a mess trying to do it here on the workbench. It goes like so. Really, really simple to put together. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It's just right size for what I was wanting. And we'll snap it in right here, right there. That's it. That's the table all together. That's what I was wanting. It's Villy is the name of it. I'll leave a link down below for it. And I'll put all the dimensions, uh, the weight that it'll hold. But I mean, most part, what it's going to hold in the tent is going to be just my you know stuff out of my pockets you know throw my phone on it that kind of stuff put my charger on it for my phone but that's what i was wanting now you can't sit on the thing it's, it's not for that it, i think it's got a max weight of 66 pounds i'll put that down right now uh what the weight is on top but this will be perfect put a lantern on that kind of stuff inside the tent and then it folds down into a small little package like so and that's it i don't have that folding unfolding on me and everything else in the back of the truck that i was having with that old table and that old table served me well for four and a half five years maybe longer but like i said i'm trying to get things smaller because i don't know what vehicle i'm getting next and it may not be in for another year or two but i want to be able to transfer from one vehicle to another if i get a smaller vehicle I want everything to be compact in size. I know the Gazelle, the Gazelle 10 is not compact, but it can at least go on a roof rack if I had to. But anyways, guys, sorry there's no adventure video this weekend, but there will be one coming up soon, I hope. Uh, that's it for this one. Winter's here, or getting here. Um, so content's going to change a little bit for a while. But I may be heading out this weekend. Depends on the weather. We'll see on the next one. I appreciate you watching. And thanks for all the new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that bell. Hit that uh, subscribe button. Hit that bell. Um, that way you know when Mid-10 has another video. Whether it be something, piece of gear. Or be a trip somewhere. Or camping or something. So just keep an eye on us. We appreciate you watching. Be prepared.